Well, out with the old and in with the new. The Cavaliers officially have a new head coach tonight. And Jimmy is here with the tales. Strange all around, right? Yeah, it really <laughs> is. And really, John Beeline wasn't that old as the head coach. He only lasted 54 games. This is a very unique and I think strange is the way to describe it. It is official now. John Beeline is out as we've been reporting the last couple of days and with certainty last night that he was out as the head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's being called a resignation and it's also being said, at least by the Cavaliers, right now that Beeline will maintain some special role inside the organization. I would take that to be that this is an opportunity to still get some payment on the five years on his contract. But the other thing, this is only a holding period for him right now until another college job opens up and that should come very quickly as soon as the college new search for head coaches starts and that should come right at the end of college regular season because he is that revered in the college game. He released this statement a few moments ago. This was a very difficult decision for me, but I want to be clear. This was my decision to step down and I truly appreciate the understanding and support of the front office during this time. So JB Bickerstaff is in and he's in right now as a matter of fact as the Cavaliers are back as a team getting ready for the remainder of the regular season which will commence on Friday night in Washington. Bickerstaff takes over as the head coach of the team. There are no details yet on getting him a new contract to become the regular head coach of the Cavaliers not the interim head coach. The Cavaliers are practicing and getting ready to finish up that practice right now out at their courts in Independence. We are there. We'll have comments on the story and the situation as soon as the Cavaliers make themselves available. This is the third time now that Bickerstaff has gotten a crack to be a head coach. None of them for very long. The previous two, one year in Houston, two years in Memphis, all in rebuilding situations. And man, he's got a rebuilding situation here. But he'll be on the bench moving up a seat starting Friday night. And coming from Michigan, you were telling us Beeline was universally respected. And not only Michigan, Russ, but everywhere else that he has been. I mean, he's been at West Virginia. He's been at Richmond. He's been at Lemoyne. He's been at Canisius up in Buffalo. He was a high school coach. Yeah. I mean, he was successful everywhere. But like so many others who have tried this jump from college to the NBA, this was a disaster. And we had talked about it a little bit last night, but you said, I mean, really, this just falls into that same camp of these are two very different situations, college coaching and what you're dealing with in the NBA. Yeah, I would put it this way. I don't think in the NBA you really coach. I think you consult. OK, mm -hmm. I think in college you coach and I think that's the big adjustment that these guys have a tough time doing and players in the NBA have a tough time accepting sure. and really since that incident with the thugs and slugs, the misstep in the film session with John Beeline and those players, that's when the Cavaliers turned him off. Wow. All right, Jimmy. See you later in sports. Okay. Thank you.